I'm going to tell you some things to not buy. I tried some new products this morning and they're just, it almost, I was thinking, I'm going to look sad in my video because when I don't like my makeup, it makes me sad. When I don't like what I'm wearing, it makes me sad. I'm just that kind of person. You will never believe what it is. It's these Anastasia lips, lip velvet to be precise. I bought, and I'd already thrown away the box of two of them. I bought these thinking that they were going to be just like the latest, greatest. It, even if I didn't like the color, I would love lining my lips with them. They are just so drab. Yesterday, I tried this one, Peachy Nude. Okay, how can I not like Peachy Nude? I am gonna swatch them for you. If you, <laughs> if you like drab, dry looking, patchy, moussey color, then you might like these. But they made my lips look 20 years older. And I just, I thought I never do this, but I'm gonna tell you not to get these. Oh, kiss, kiss, okay. So I think I started off with this one today because I thought, well, maybe I just needed more color. But can you see how the consistency is, it's like almost chalky. And I know that the NYX like whipped creamy lips were popular for a long time. Their formula is better. And you guys know I love Anastasia products. So it's no shade on her. This one is Pure Hollywood. I think there is a gloss that I love called Pure Hollywood, but this one, you know what? That might be the best one. If I were going to get one, if you want, if you are determined that you are going to love these, get that one because at least it's got some depth to it and some dimension. The other ones, I couldn't get a straight line to use them like as a lip liner and they just, I don't know what it was. I did salvage it yesterday. You'll, I don't know if you've, yeah, you have seen that video in my Walmart video, my Walmart try on. I used it in that video, but I put so many things over it. First, I put some gloss, then I added another lip color. So that's what I had in that one. And this one is Crush Lip Velvet. Okay, this is the one I tried to use today. I can already tell. It was so orange and just bad. So if you like what I like, do not get these. Okay, so let me show you what I do have on. It's that same lipstick. I told you last week that you need, this is the Nude Envy in Love. Love is the color. It makes all my lipstick dreams come true. It really does. It's just beautiful. If you like all of the L'Oreal lipsticks like I do, like Peach Fuzz and Ballerina Shoes, it's a little bit glossier feeling than those. It's a little bit more forgiving on the lip lines, if you know what I mean. It is just the perfect lip color. It couldn't be any better. I love it, I love it. One of my all-time favorites. And then, I really hesitated to even mention this brand because I don't know if any of you have been here with me long enough or if you would even remember one time I had a haul from, let me say it right, Merle Norman, but I said Merrill Norman. And I had people just like freak out on me, like freak out. But when John and I and Will, we went to Raleigh, uh, I guess week before last, I had to take my car to get serviced, which that's another saga. When I get through with my Tesla lease, I will fill you in on owning a Tesla. And so we went there and we had gone to the mall there and they had a Merle Norman store. So I went in there and not only did I get the best eyeshadow, that I can't find. I don't know where I put it. I have stuck it somewhere. It was a brown color. I cannot even remember, but it was so good. And I got this lip liner. It's the Plush Lip Liner in Hot Cocoa. And when you see it, you're gonna think, 
Well, no. When you see it, you're going to think, daggone, that's a good lip liner. It's like a brownie color, but look at how soft it is. It's like that soft brown with a little bit of mauve -y tone to it, and it's just so good. I love it. I don't know if you can buy this online. I haven't even looked, or if you need to go to a store, if you have one near you. I used to love Merle Norman, and my favorite thing were those double-ended lip pencils. Matter of fact, I bought two of them. Let me go get them. I'll be right back. Okay, just for the heck of it, when I was in my bathroom, I did swatch this next to it, and that is pretty daggone close. This is the Urban Decay Lip Pencil in Liar. So many of you might already have this, so I just wanted to go ahead and keep you from double purchasing. Wow, that's a good one too. Mm, you need this. Okay, so that's Liar. This is the Merle Norman Hot Cocoa. And then do you guys remember these? When I was in my 20s, it was when I waitressed, I got wild berries. And I think they still have it. They didn't have it in. So the girl that was helping me was young, nice, just we had a good time. I told her that I liked nude lips. I didn't like anything dark. And her first instinct was Cocoa Buff and I do really like it. This is the lipstick side. No wonder I like this. That's the lipstick. I know, everything's so close in color, but you like what you like, right? So that's the lipstick, and then this is the liner on the other side. Wow, that's a good one. So that is Coco Buff, and then the other one I think is just a little bit too dark for me. Okay, so it's peachy something. Yeah, perfect peach. Okay, I'm gonna do a lip line. That's, that's probably what kills it for me. It's a little too orangey and bright. And then here is the inside color. Interesting, I really do like the inside color. So if you do love peaches, and this may even look better in the summer, but these things, they're good. And it's kind of like a nostalgic thing with me. When I had that little reaction to the shingles shot, I wanted some, uh, some kind of ice pack or something. And my friend SJ, Sarah Jane from Chic on the Cheap, she told me this was the best eye roller. <laughs> eye roller, ice roller. Okay. But the first one I got, ooh, okay. I've, Believe it or not, I've never had an ice roller. I know that's like a big thing, but you know, I'm not, I don't know. Believe it or not, I'm really not a gadgety type person. And I'm just not into like skincare as much as some people are. Wow, that is cool. The first one I got, um, I mentioned it to my mom and she said that she would like to have one because my mom really believes in putting ice on everything. Cat scratch, cut bruise, anything, she will put ice on it. So I gave the first one I got to her and then I reordered it in case I need it, in case you know I have to get the follow-up shot and anything that you have done, I think this would be good. And so SJ always tells me about good things and I guess the uh, directions are pretty explanatory. It says, eliminate puffiness, shrink pores, mask care. Oh yeah, some people do it like over their mask. Improves fine lines, battery free, smooth skin. Wow, if it does all of that, we'll all get one, won't we? Okay, so let's get to the subject at hand here. Some new releases. I ordered it from Sephora. This is the Prada Reveal Foundation Skin Optimizing Foundation. Foundation. It has niacinamide, vitamin E, all of those good things that come in makeup these days. So I watched a few videos to try to figure out what color to order because it's not cheap. I think it was maybe, it's either 70 or $90, but it does come in refill form. Uh, this is plastic and I think that's glass, yeah. So the two colors I chose are MW40, which is what I have on this side of my face. M W40, which would be medium warm 40. 
And then on this side of my face, I have the MN40. So that is the more neutral. And I always feel like I have this urge to be, you know, to go for the neutral. But honestly, I think more times than not, the warm is a yummier foundation, if you know what I mean. Like it just gives you that Gwen Stefani makeup look. You know what I mean? Like that, it's not necessarily the most natural, but it just looks the most, not really glamorous. Yummy is just my favorite word to use for that. Just that creamy, smooth, pretty look like Kim Kardashian's makeup. So I really prefer this side, which is the golden side, but it's the first day that I've used it. And first impressions, when I first put it on, I thought mm, the coverage, I didn't think it was that great. Then I remembered I was using a brand new beauty, one of those uh, Paw Paw sponges. And so I had to give it a little bit of credit for that. As soon as I got going with it, the coverage is good. It's a, a unique consistency. It's kind of watery, but it really covers well. I'm trying to think, I think the Marc Jacobs foundation used to be kind of like that. And you could really build it. And my favorite part was it dries down. When a foundation has medium to full coverage, and it dries down quickly, you have more options with the rest of your makeup. A great option is adding a layer of mineral foundation over your makeup to give you extra coverage, sunscreen, you know, all those things. We all love mineral foundation, but sometimes we don't wanna use it on its own because it is hard to get that full yummy look with mineral foundation because it's hard to get it, you know, in all the different places. So, so far, so good. I really, oh, it does have SPF 17. I really like it. It's definitely different. It's, I would say, like, if you ask me how it differs from my favorites, which are Hourglass and Estee Lauder Double Wear and Lancome Tint E Dull. I would say the coverage is similar, but it's just a lot more liquidy and lighter. That's what I would say. So I will continue to use these. I'm not gonna return them and let you know. And I might try the next darker shade in the neutral because a lot of times I may have to go a little bit darker in the neutral than the warm. So I hope that just helps you a little bit there. It's, it's good, it's worth trying. Okay, I was watching Susan Binaldi and she is a friend of In The Fro and they had a girls trip and I was just, I think I was actually watching, was I, I, I don't know whose video I was watching, one of theirs. And Susan was putting on her makeup and she was using these bronzing drops. Now, I always forget about how much I love these. Rodeal has the best blush drops, bronzing drops, just so good. These are very, very similar. They're invisible liquid bronzer and you just put it, like I dot it. I put three dots down each cheek. I put dots around my forehead and big connecting dots on my jawline. And then I use the It Double Ended Brush and it just blends out so beautifully. I mean, look at that. Very similar look to me as the Chanel Bronzer Universal in Dark. Not the regular one, because it's a little bit more of an orangey tone. Okay, I will say for ultimate blendability, do it before you do your powder, even setting under your eyes. Because yesterday I set under my eyes, my concealer, and then I did those and they were a little tiny bit harder to blend in than today I just did before I did my powder and it was perfect, perfect. Okay, another thing I got from Sephora was this, and it is the Boys of Summer by Henry Rose. It's the body spray. And my friend Madison from Madison Payne, her channel, anyone I ever mention, whether I know them or not, I will link them below, but she recommended this. It's a refreshing, alcohol-free, fine fragrance. <laughs> like a tongue twister, for everybody. Shake well before use, spray liberally all over body. 
and I sprayed it this morning, but John had lit my candle, so. Okay, ooh, okay. Fresh, sexy man that just used a little bit of Irish Spring in the shower. <laughs> it's, I don't know what it's got in it. I remember thinking I might not like it. I, it might be too, I think it's got like a, some herbs in it. If I had to guess, it's got some kind of herby note in it. Of course, I will put the notes in here. But I kind of just wanted to tell you what I thought right offhand. Ooh, I like this. Okay, it's not pretty. It's not a pretty scent. It's sexy. It's boyfriend. It's fresh. It's just getting out of the shower. That's what it is. Like even a woman, it smells like you just got out of the shower. You used soap, kind of like the bathroom smells when you get through, you know, showering. That's what it smells like. And my gosh, they give you so much of it. It comes in this container. So yeah, I'm interested in trying more of those because I love a good body spray. Okay, what is the saying? Don't blame me, I'm just the messenger. <laughs> Don't blame me, I'm just the YouTuber who wants to show you all the new lip products that come out, all the new products, period. And Hourglass released some lip liners. Honestly, I've been waiting for some new lip liners to come out. So I ordered three and I will have to say, some of the longest lasting lip liners I have ever experienced. Honestly, you can barely get them off your hand, these swatches, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, the lightest one I got is Tempt, it's number three, and it's a very, I think it looked, might have looked a little bit peachier on there. It's not peach, it's a pinky nude color. Very similar to L'Oreal Matte Sturmind, if you have that one. Uh, really pretty. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with these. The one thing I will say is they're very flat. They are like flat and matte. They're not, there's no pizzazz like compared to the Merle Norman one. Okay, this one is the one I have on today and it is Uncover. It's number four and as you can see, this one does have a little bit more of a warm tone. I would say that one is pretty much a terracotta type color, a darker terracotta, which is right up my alley. I love it. And then this one is a little bit of a wild card because I do love the cocos and the, oh, just the root from Fit Glow Beauty. I love that one. I do love the dark brown ones, but this one is so flat and matte and it stays so long. If you use this, you need to blend it quickly. Or if you have darker skin tone, you may love this, but look at how pretty it is. I mean, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's not too dark. It's just perfect for that, you know, 90s vibe, that Naomi Campbell, just that look. But I will say, be careful, use a light hand, but this sucker is going to last you all day. Like you don't need to take this with you. Just throw your lip in your purse and that's all you're gonna need because these last so well. I don't know, they did something magical with that formula. Now, I've gotten so much good PR lately. Thank you to everyone. I got a package from, is it Lacetan? I'm sure I'm butchering that, but they messaged me on Instagram and wanted to know if they could send me a few things, of, you know, some of their skincare. And like I always do, I tell them I would love to try any eye creams, neck, body, hair, anything like that, because I already know I'm not gonna go away from my Obagi New Derm. So they sent me this package, very pretty. And look at this. I have not used this in so long long. It's kind of like that other, the Glossier shower stuff that I like so much. Not only is it like an oil, but then it cleanses too. It like lathers slightly. I mean, not like crazy, but what I love about it is it can keep you from having to put on extra moisturizer when you get out of the shower and it's great to shave with. And I just feel like it's, I don't know, kind of mild, you know, when you're, especially our age, I don't know if any of you girls like pre, post, whatever, menopause, my chest went nuts. It got so sensitive. 
And so I like things like that, to wash my chest and everything in the shower. They sent me their hand cream with 20% shea butter, and then overnight reset oil and serum, soothe and revitalize the skin, smooths fine lines, youthful glow. Okay, something like this, what I would do is try it on my neck and chest. And then this is their um, Emulsion Enrich. Help fight against early signs of aging, minimizes pores and appearance. This I may try, sometimes I do like to use anything that is described that way as a primer. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, let me, let me let's see what consistency it is. Okay, okay, thin, just a light, fresh, maybe lavender scent. And so if you've tried any of these, will you let us know which one is your favorite? And thank you to L'Occitane for sending me this beautiful package. Okay, so let's get down to some fashion. I ordered some regular schmegular turtlenecks. I remember when I talked about the high contrast and stuff, I had already been thinking about, I needed just some layering turtlenecks. So I ended up ordering these from Everlane because to me, like if I just click on the Everlane website, it's not something I'm drawn to, but I love their basics. Their sweaters are amazing. Their pants, just great quality for a good price. And so with something like this, I knew I would like it. So I got the black one and see how they are. The Pima Micro Rib Turtleneck. I did get this small. Um, better factories, all that stuff. It's very, I learned about this brand when I was watching Capsule Wardrobe and like minimalist fashion. So I got the black one. It does have the seam up the back, which I kind of like because it gives it just some interest and a little bit of an edgy vibe. So I got a black one and then I got this gray one. I'm a sucker for gray. And then I got this one that I have on today. Sorry, this ruins all of my outfits. And I'm recreating a Pinterest picture that I saw. If I really want to recreate it, I'm gonna to have to put my hair back, but I might, I might not go that far today. And this jacket is from Revolve. These are my trousers from Abercrombie, and I will put everything up in here so you can see the inspo pick and the outfit that I have on today. And then I placed an order with Mango. And I got this precious little purse. I actually got this for my daughter, Brooke, because to me, this, Brooke likes, like she is just now getting where she likes a few little designer pieces, but her style is pretty particular. It's like more of the vintage pieces. You know how it is. They like to shop at resale shops, Depop, all those places and they like the vintage look. So I felt like this looked kind of vintage, the color that it is, and it looks like Miu Miu to me. It reminds me of my Miu Miu bag, and Brooke likes light pink, like this blushy pink. So that is the reason I got it, and I just thought it was so cute. And it's got a gold zipper. I really like it. She's here now, and she does like it. Then I got these earrings that are kind of like 90s inspired. What I like about these, first of all, they're not too heavy. I love a back like that, don't you? It's easy. I like that they aren't just crazy gold. And I love an earring that kind of lays back like that. Like when it hangs, it hangs kind of back. I don't know why. Like I don't know why I like that, but I do. I just think it's cool looking and it gives a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more interest. And then I got this little sweater. So let me try these on. I didn't plan on really wearing this one over a turtleneck. So I hope that it will fit. I was planning on wearing it alone as it is, but you gotta see it on. So far, so good. Yep, zipper works well. Oh, I do like this. Okay, so here are the pants. <laughs> and I've just got on my Uggs so far. I don't know, I'll probably keep these on 
or maybe I would put on some, like the Air Force Ones or something like that, a sneaker to go with it. But honestly, guys, it's been so cold, it's felt good just to have on like fuzzy shoes. But I think this is amazing. I think it looks really good. And the size I got in this is medium. And then I got this. This is not just a blazer. This is like a coat. I got, it's wool. I got the medium and yeah, let me put it on for you. I was hoping it was gonna be something like the Anina Bing Quinn, but in this light color, it feels heavier. I do think that the wool content is higher in this one. Okay, 61% polyester, 31% wool, 6% acrylic, 1% polyamide, and 1% viscose. Lining is 100% cotton. Okay, so let's try it on. Ooh, I mean, it is, it's a coat, especially for me here. Oh yeah, I love it. Okay, I'm so glad I got the medium. If you don't want it to be oversized at all, get your true size. Like I still could wear a small, I know, but I, I want it just for this reason, just to throw on over anything and wear it like a coat, but yet it's smarter and more, you know, just more fashionable looking. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. I will say it's, it's wooly filling. It's, um, but it is lined, whereas the Anina Bing isn't lined. Um, that's another reason that it's heavier, but I like this. Let me know what you think down below, but I think, I think I'm keeping it. I think it's perfect. And then this is something one of you guys told me about. You sent me a video on Instagram, a DM, and it was this girl, she was organizing her closet and she was using the children's size hangers for her jeans. And it's like the perfect size, like the perfect width of the pair of jeans. And that way they don't like shift you know, side to side, they hang prettier and they take up less space. You know what I mean? A smaller footprint in your closet. So I just got these, I haven't, oh my gosh, don't even make me think about organizing my jeans. They're everywhere. I think I'm gonna organize them by brand or designer. And that way, because if I try to do it, um, by, I remember last time I did them alphabetically, that was funny. And so I think I'm gonna do it by the brand and uh, TBD, <laughs> get back with you on that one. Okay guys, I am going to go. I'm actually, when you see this video, today is actually Saturday. And this week I'm going to an event in Dallas with Colleen Rothschild for her 10 year anniversary. It's Thursday night, but I am gonna fly in early Wednesday and stay Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and come home Saturday. So when you see this, I will be coming in tomorrow and I will show you everything I got because I plan on doing some shopping while I'm there and just enjoying being you know, out and somewhere different, enjoying meeting new people, and I will take you with me. So make sure you check for me on Instagram and I will see you, oh, and I've got uh, this ring is one for my parents that they got me years ago. I don't know if he still sells it, but Dean Davidson has some really pretty green jewelry. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.